So how you doing? Hey, today we're gonna do a test run on the Homelite Super XL 925, the 82cc saw that I ported. Uh, I think I figured out where my power went. So I discovered the muffler keeps working loose on me. Like after just a few seconds, the muffler screws just come loose and everything. So what I did is I put a gasket in there and I Loctited the screws. So we're gonna see if that works. You see before, I think what was going on is the muffler would come loose, I'd break that seal, and then it basically changed the tuning and it just, it went erratic on me every time. So today we're gonna try it differently. Um, and hopefully my power is where I think it should be. Now I'm also gonna do another test. This chain is sharpened a little bit more standard from what you're, you're used to seeing. I usually sharpen a little bit different than this, uh, just because I find that as the RPM of the saw goes up, a different sharpening works better. Well, I don't think this saw is at that RPM where that different sharpening would work better. I think it's down a little bit lower, you know, a little more torquey. So I'm gonna take it to a more standard sharpening, which should work better in this situation. So we're gonna try that out as well. Now this is semi chisel chain, so I'm not expecting greatness or anything. So, you know, let's see how she does. Alrighty. Now for those of you out there who love the sound of these saws thumping away, I got you about a minute of footage of this saw just sitting there at idle. And I'll tell you, it sounds beautiful. Just wait until you hear it.
I just want to add one little thing to this video. Uh, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the 925 and the 130 hot rod saw that we built. And I'm kind of, I'm just kind of curious to see, you know, the, the 130 is definitely pull more RPM, but the, the 925 has more torque. So, you know, which one of these is going to win in the battle? The, uh, the torque or the RPM in the cut? So let's see what happens here. They're, they're both cut in oak. Uh, the pieces are roughly the same size. I think the 925 might have had a slight advantage on the size. Uh, but not by a whole lot. It, it, they're pretty close. But uh, and the 925, it had to go through a knot, you know, so it might have kind of compensated for the size. All right, so I want you to check it out, and you tell me, is torque still king? All right? <laughs> that was rather interesting uh, the torque won in the battle in my opinion now you got to take in consideration the 925 was pulling a semi chisel chain where the 130 was pulling a full chisel chain so even the 130 still had the advantage as far as chain is concerned so you know think about it now, my take on this is torque is king uh, it doesn't matter what the RPM you got, the torque is really the one that matters in the cut. You can scream as many RPM as you want, but if you ain't got torque, forget it. That's my take on it. You tell me what you think. All right, so how'd you like that? Um, I, I didn't want to run it a whole lot there, so it looks like the clutch is failing. Uh, I didn't want to run it and have the clutch blow apart on me and everything, so definitely going to have to repair this clutch. Um, I don't know, something about it's going weird. The chain will not stop moving. I tried to show that to you. So, you know, uh, there's something definitely going on there with that clutch. Uh, either a shoe is stuck or a spring is broke or something. And I just, I wanted to shut her down before something failed. You know what I mean? Now, otherwise, the power of this saw came up dramatically with that. So that's definitely been my issue is keeping the muffler on there and keeping it tight. But here's the thing, even after the gasket and the Loctite, the muffler still came loose. Uh, not as bad as normal, but it still came loose. So I might have to rig up something to help lock them screws in place. <sighs> I don't know what I'll figure out, but I'm gonna have to figure out something. Uh, for now, I, gotta, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna have to sort out something to figure out a way to keep this muffler tight on there. Uh, but anyway, I, I really think the performance of this all came up dramatically with this test. And I am super stoked at the way it's running. If I put a new clutch on there and get this muffler situation sorted out, this saw will be perfect. In fact, I think this saw just became my favorite home light in my collection. It's not the highest RPM saw, but I'll tell you, there's just something about it. It is a pleasure to run. You just stick it on there and let it just chow on that wood. I mean, it's just a monster on it. I was having trouble with the bark coming loose and kind of jamming up at the chain and everything. That's why you kept seeing me shut her down because of the bark issues on this, on this tree. <laughs> so that's why you kept seeing me shut it down because of the bark issues on this wood. But that'll be it for today. We'll catch you later.